Hey everyone, Steph here. I'm still super sick, so I'm gonna keep this really short. We're in zone three, week three, and I'm working on my kids' bathrooms today. So it's my second bathroom or my main floor bathroom, and I'm gonna work for 15 minutes and see what I can get done. I can't talk much longer. I basically don't have a voice. So here I go. This is all I'm doing today. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is wash my bath mat. I just threw it in the laundry with a couple towels. Then I dusted my window and some of the sills a little bit better than I do during my weekly home blessing hour. Ran around the room doing the baseboards. And then it was time to move on to my bath shower. So this is my least favorite chore of all the chores in the house is cleaning baths or showers. And you'll see what I mean when we get to my master bathroom because my shower is embarrassingly dirty. This one is not so bad because my kids don't take showers in here. They're just little so they still take baths. So the actual shower part was really easy to clean. I just gave it a wipe down with some soapy water vinegar um, that I had in a bucket there and just wiped all of the surfaces. There was a few little rough spots or soap scum, but it came off pretty easily. For the actual bathtub part of the bath, I used my abrasive cleaner. And the brand that I use is Norwex, but I know there's lots of abrasive cleaners out there and I'm sure they all work great. So I, I really wanted to try the baking soda for this, but I did not have the energy because I'm sick. So I knew my abrasive cleaner that I already have works, so I just used that. So I fill the bathtub with water and uh, then I just go around and scrub all of the kind of tub line around the bottom off. The other thing that I used to like to use as an abrasive cleaner was Comet. It's like a dollar at Walmart for a whole thing, but be careful if you're using Comet because it's a bleach product or a bleach based product and so if you use it with vinegar it can cause some pretty crazy fumes that you don't want to get. So I'm just going to finish up my bathtub with my abrasive cleaner and my soapy water vinegar, give it a wipe down and I'm done. Next thing I'm moving on to is my first cabinet. So this is a bathroom that's meant for our two girls when they're older. They don't really use it now so as you can see there's really nothing in the drawers. It was super easy to clean this down because we don't use it except for them to wash their hands very occasionally um, whenever they use this bathroom. But not very many people use it. For the most part it's a guest bathroom more than anything. So I'm just cleaning the drawers out, giving everything a really good wipe down, giving the drawers a wipe. Even though it doesn't get used, it still gets dusty and there still tends to be things that don't need to be in there. And then I'm just going to give the outside a really quick wipe. It's super clean and even with my swish and swipe, I only do this bathroom like once a week or once every two weeks because really nobody really uses it that much. So the next thing I'm going to do is just wipe down the outside of the toilet and I saw there was some pretty greasy little fingerprints on there. It looks like somebody got into some makeup maybe and had their fingerprints all over the toilet. Anyway, so I'm just going to wipe that down, wipe down the baseboards, go behind the door, a place I usually forget, but I'm not forgetting anymore now that I'm doing this very uh, methodically. And the last thing to do is just wash the floor. So like my grandma said, you can't get a floor clean properly if you don't get down on your hands and knees. So when I do my zone cleaning, I will probably get down on my hands and knees to clean most of the floors because then you know that you're getting it done really well and really thoroughly. So when you do the weekly home blessing hour and you're just quickly swishing over it with a mop, you don't have to worry about getting into the corners because you know you got in there because you were right down on the floor and saw yourself doing it. So I'm just going to quickly finish up wiping down the floor here. I'm using soapy water with a little bit of vinegar in it and then I'm going to go throw my mat into the wash and I am done for the day. It is nap time for me. Okay, so I'm all done. I got another room checked off so I got my two bathrooms done so far this week and I have my kids room and the laundry room to do for the rest of the week. I am going to go have a nap. I'm going to keep this super short because I barely have a voice. I hope you got something done in zone 3 today, 15 minutes, 5 minutes. You know, I'm feeling terrible and this is all I'm doing. Dishes and this. Nothing else. This is all I have the energy to do. Um, my husband's going to come home from work early and make our dinner. He's so awesome. And yeah, that's all for today. I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.